Oh, what is good, YouTube? It is currently, uh, let's see, 8.18 in this uh, second week of February, Monday. And so I'm about to go and try to get this contract uh, with this uh, direct shipper that I'm very interested in working for. And I know I'm going to get it, so just stay tuned. And, bro, I, I literally got a lot of faith, and I, I just know this one is mine. Like, I just know I'm going to get it. But anyway, let me finish getting dressed. Let me go talk to this uh, shipper, shipping manager, and make sure to get all this paperwork set up. All right, y'all. So, man, hey, I got a pretty good update for y'all. Um, Actually, the uh, shipping manager, he wasn't there. So I talked to the shipper. And so that conversation, it, it actually went pretty well. And so how I presented myself, I went up to him with the load I had recently done. And I was just explaining to him, you know, I got my van. I know y'all right here, and I told him what the operator had told me, how they need, uh, they want someone within their company to ship out their products, right? Oh, shit, bro. But um, from, you know, from this city to one city that's four hours away to another city, and they, he told me that they send out those products every day of the week. So that's actually pretty good. So I can have consistent work Monday through Friday instead of trying to be on the road Monday through Friday, finding loads on the load board. You know, so hopefully that you know that pay is pretty healthy, and I know they are because their um that their, their third party company is uh UPS. So I, I know they're coming up a good coming up. You know, UPS is charging them an arm and leg. You know, so you know if a smaller company like myself and I, you know, we come in and take that four or five dollars a mile rather than you know UPS or whatever, how much ever they're charging them. You know, hey. We're going to win, bro. We're going to win regardless. So, yeah. So, and another thing, he gave me the uh, shipping manager's number. So, um, this he'll be in at about 10 o'clock today. So, right now, I'm at McDonald's. I'm going to go grab me something to eat, try to get back focused. I'm going to go wash my van up. So, when he comes out here to look at it, you know, it just won't look like a piece of shit because I've been on the road in the snow. And, you know, when you're in that snow, your van, it just looks so dirty. Like, um, those pictures y'all see on social media. Facebook and everything. That, that's why my van is always so dirty because I'm always up there up north with the snow. But if I can stay down here in, in Texas and work local, be home with my girl every night, shit, down right, I'm gonna do it. So, you know, hopefully everything goes right with this. I'm, I'm really excited for it. But like I told y'all earlier, I got a lot of faith that I'm gonna get it. So, and that right there just, you know, I'm just, I got the cake. I'm just waiting to put the icing on it. And I got his number as well. His number was on the paper, but, um, you know, I just gotta. Lock it in, but now I'm gonna go get something to eat, get my mind right, wash this van, and get focused, prepare what I'm gonna say again. <laughs> but all right, y'all, stay tuned. All right, y'all, so I'm down here at this tax collector's office, right? Because as you know, some of you may know, I just started in this business, and so I still have a rental tag on here, right? And I got this car all the way down in Georgia, so. I gotta get that removed because these Texas police do not play. So, and another update, the guy he just takes me back. So uh, he wants to know what I want to talk to him about. So that's actually a good thing. He was in a meeting earlier. So, but this line on your cell, I don't know. But I'm sure he's gonna work it out. I talked to the shipper, the guy who does the shipping. He's, he told me for a fact, he know he's gonna work something out with me. So hopefully it goes well. Just wish me luck. All right, so another update. We had to leave one courthouse and go come to this courthouse downtown, right? And so when I get here, I've been try I tried to call the uh, place where I uh, originally got this van from, but they needed a letter of authorization. So I never got in contact with those people. Uh, so I went, uh, I came here. They, t they still told me I needed it, and I thought it was gonna be okay or whatever. It it's me. Like, I, why would I need a uh, letter of authorization to release tax for for my own vehicle, like? That's, I found that kind of insane, but I ended up getting them, but it's three, it's literally uh, about three, four o'clock now. So this is a whole day wasted, no load or anything like that. But with the direct shipper, um, go with him tomorrow, let him sign the carrier package. I, I got to finish putting together, and that was a mistake I made as well. I didn't even have a, um, a carrier's package set up or anything like that. So that is something y'all want to uh, be aware of that you do have to create when um, going about, um, you know, finding your own, going out, trying to get uh, new contracts with uh, manufacturer companies and stuff like that. So, you know, 
that's one thing. And I just really hate working with like unprofessional people because I've been trying to, I literally been trying to call this lady all day to get, uh, to get this letter. But when she finally answered the phone, like it took, it literally took me about eight different calls, like literally y'all, eight different calls and about three different phone numbers to call, right? And so the lady, she finally uh, answered the phone about 3.30 today. And when she answered the phone, I noticed she's not in the office or anything like that. She's at her fucking house, bro. Like, come on, man. And I, I, you know, ain't nothing wrong with, you know, working from home and stuff like that. But bro, come on, man. I've been calling you all day and nobody answering. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Like, don't nobody have access to this type of thing. I even called the other, um, another, I even called the courthouse down there in Georgia. Cause I'm in Texas right now, so I had to do all that extra stuff for that. So I'm gonna go home, finish putting this carry package together, wake up tomorrow, and you know, get the guy to sign the paperwork and everything, get the hauling freight. He said he didn't have anything that needs to be shipped out today, but for the rate that we worked out, um, if I do at least four loads a week, I'll be pretty good. Like I'll be meeting some good quarter that I uh, set for myself, honestly. But, you know, I, mean, I don't want to really get into many details about that because a lot of people think, um, you know, you get on social media talking about what your race and everything like that is. People get offended by it for some odd reason. So, you know, I, I don't want to say too much about that. But the thing is, I do go live on my TikTok and I talk a lot about, um, you know, my race and things like that. Like how I negotiate my race as well. And like, you know, there's a uh, couple of those I took uh, for a dollar, under a dollar a mile. You know, people got the most to say, but give a fuck bro nobody's paying your bills but you so at the end of the day you got to keep pushing regardless no matter what man you know just keep your head up stay positive but like i said man i'm gonna go home and just carry packages and if you're not following me on tiktok go follow me on there because i get asked like a lot of questions during the day and now not only do i get a lot asked a lot of questions i get asked the same questions bro so if you go on that tiktok live bro where i talk i talk a lot about the business your personal credit, business credit, and everything like that. And I like stuff I've been studying since I was like literally, uh, what about 16, 17, and I'm 20 now, so I'm pretty knowledgeable about it. I mean, just look, hey, I'm 20 doing this, bro. Like, come on now. So, you know, but I mean, like, you still got to do your own research as well. But, but anyway, I want to just keep rambling and shit. I'm finna head over here to, um, where I need to go. I need to go to, um, Office Max first, scan a few documents, go back home. Get back on the computer, finish typing, go back to Office Max, scan some more documents all together, print out, scan, you know, just put it all together. It's just life has a business, business on it, so, you know. But I'm enjoying it. It's been pretty cool so far. It's most definitely a different experience, you know, from a 9 to 5, and I want to talk about that as well. 9 to 5 versus owning your own business. So that's going to be another video I come out with pretty soon, but, you know, just stay tuned, y'all. And I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting so far and all the, um, constructive criticism i like that as well you know and even the good comments you know i, I really appreciate all that it, it it makes a huge difference and my day i ain't gonna say my day but it, it keeps me motivated to keep going you know whether somebody got something good to say or something bad to say because at the end of the day if you critique me i'm gonna know what i need to fix you know i'm not gonna take it to the heart i'm not gonna not gonna make me feel bad you know but, you know, with all that being said, you know, I appreciate all the support. But I'm going to hit y'all back in a few minutes. A few minutes, stay tuned. All right, y'all. So now that all that is done, I just want to take a few seconds and um, give y'all a few pointers. Or just one ma one major pointer, right? So, and that's about your communication, your verbal skills, okay? So with that being said, when you're when you're going to these people, whether it's an insurance broker, insurance agent, um, whether you're on feet trying to get a direct customer, you know, to work with you, to work with your business, you want to keep in mind that you need to, uh, you know, obviously you want to present yourself, you know, as a businessman, you're doing business. So you don't want to be talking all, you, want, you don't want to be cursing, you don't want to be doing all that crazy stuff. You know, you want to keep it business. Like you want to sound like you're, you're an actual businessman to make them feel comfortable with using you, with using your services. Because for one, you know, you're, you're already not a major company like UPS and FedEx. And that, that's who um, these guys, that, that's who they were working uh, for. So you know they're paying, you know, top dollar to have their things, um, you know, ship, moved around, whatever you want to call it, you know. So that really plays a, a huge part in getting these contracts with these with these um, shippers, you know. So that's, you know, you, you just want to keep that in mind. It's not easy for one, you know, so. And also, um, 
terminology, you know, that's 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 huge as well. So when when you do your research, right? I, I'm big on I always say do, make sure you do your proper research. Do your proper research, you know. Once you know certain key words, you know, you start to look at you like, you know what you're talking about. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Um, and so it, it, it's just certain words you want to use, you know, that brokers use, that brokers are used to using, you know. If you throw that word play in there, you know, they'll, you know, they'll look at you like, okay, okay, this guy, he's up to something. You know what I mean? You don't want to just be so blunt with it. You want to have a reasoning of why they should use you as well, you know. Just make it all make sense, you know, tie it in, you know. And if, um, another thing, like I said, I do go live on my TikToks and I talk a lot about certain stuff like this in deep, more detail, you know. And a lot of people, one, one guy just hit me up and he said, I didn't, um, I didn't get out, give out any information in my last video. But in the video I said, if you got any questions, comment them down below. But, you know, he, he didn't comment it down below. So he obviously, you know, just wanted to pick and choose. But like I said, do your research and make sure you, you're comprehending what you're listening to. You know, don't just be watching videos on YouTube, you know, just for the hell of it. Even though that's what YouTube is for, it's also um, a good platform to learn from, you know. Not just to, you know, sit up here and waste time watching mukbangs and cartoons all day. You know what I'm saying? Watching somebody else live their life. Try to learn something from somebody else who's who's where you want to be in life, you know, or where you're trying to get to. Or someone who's, you know, taking certain steps in their life to get to the point where, you know, y'all want to be. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something that you want to be mindful of. But like I said, I just want to give, give, give y'all that little pointer real quick. Also, I do, like I said, like I keep saying, I do go live on my TikTok and I talk a lot about deep stuff, like, you know, so if that's something, if y'all want to learn more, y'all just want to ask me, like, deeper questions or bigger, broader questions, you know, go follow me on TikTok and um, ask those questions, man. If I may not know it, I'll find an answer for you, bro. I, I promise you, man. Like, it, it, this stuff is not that hard. I promise you it's not. A lot of people like to keep it a secret, but, man, it's pretty easy. But all that being said, you know, Y'all be safe. Continue to be blessed and have a good day. Peace.